I had never been involved in politics prior to running for New uh, governor of New Mexico. I mean, not at all. Complete outsider. Well, I got elected. I'd like to think it was based on what I had to say, which was, hey, how about bringing a common sense business approach to state government? Best product, best service, lowest price. Less government is better government. Let's keep government out of the bedroom. Let's leave personal choices to me, and let's, uh, let's make government as efficient as we possibly can from a dollars and cents standpoint. So there are some big differences between myself and my opponents. Big differences. Big, big differences. And let's start with Iran. I'm the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I'm the only candidate running for President of the United States that would get out of Afghanistan tomorrow and bring the troops home. Our military interventions have resulted in hundreds of millions of enemies to this country that but for our military interventions would otherwise not exist. Let's stop with the military interventions. I'm the only candidate running for President of the United States that believes that marriage equality is a constitutionally guaranteed right. I'm the only candidate running for President of the United States that wants to end the drug war now, legalize the drug war now. So I am the only candidate that is advocating eliminating the income tax, corporate tax, abolishing the IRS, and replacing all of that with one federal consumption tax. In this case, I am embracing the fair tax. When I hear a politician say, we can't leave this to our kids or our grandkids. It's here. It's now. And it has to get dealt with now. And it's not being dealt with now. So I want to make a request to all of you. And that request is, waste your vote. And vote for me. And if you will all do that, I'll be next president of the United States. And I guarantee you that these issues will get addressed. And I guarantee you, if you waste your vote on me, I guarantee you it is nothing that you will ever regret. Thank you very, very much.